The fire danger rating system that we use in Victoria has changed. The new Australian fire danger rating system is now the same all over Australia. The new system looks a little bit different, but will be easier to use. There is a no rating setting for periods of low fire danger. The new system considers many vegetation types, detailed weather information, and advanced fire behaviour models, so that the information we receive is accurate and timely. This is important so communities can take action to protect themselves and others from the threat of bushfire. We need to remember that the Australian Fire Danger Rating Board does not tell us if a fire is going to happen. It tells us how dangerous a bushfire could be if one did start. These changes started on the 1st of September 2022. And this movie is to help people understand what the new AFDR boards are telling us. Hi, I'm Jem Jim. I live with my family in Strathewan, northeast of Melbourne. On one side of our house is bush and on the other side of our house is paddocks. Strathewan has a school, a fire station, a community hall and tennis courts. Walking to school with Will and Ellie, we see the Australian Fire Danger Rating Board on the side of the road. The rating tells us if a fire started, how dangerous a bush fire or grass fire could be. The higher the fire danger rating, the more dangerous the conditions and the harder it is to put the fire out. We see on the sign that today's fire danger rating is no rating. This means there is little risk of fire activity. Days like these, the air is cooler and full of moisture, so Will and Ellie wear long pants and jackets to stay warm. I have a nice fur coat, so I'm pretty happy. It's been raining a little lately, so the dam is full and the ground is wet under our feet. We splash in the puddles and see heaps of animals out and about. Walking to school again, the fire danger rating is moderate. This means it is time to plan and prepare for the bushfire season ahead. The sky is blue and the sun is shining and there are a few clouds about. It is a mild temperature, so Will and Ellie wear jeans and jumpers, but no coats. We see a wombat wandering around on the green lawn and a kangaroo eating green grass in the paddock. After school, we help Dad test the fire pump and we pack our bushfire survival bags, checking that we still fit into our long sleeve cotton shirts and pants and our sturdy boots. The fire danger rating is high today, so we need to be ready to act. The sky is clear and the sun is shining brightly. The dam is getting lower and the mud around the edge is getting hard and starting to crack a little. We put our bushfire survival bags in the car before we leave for school. That way, if we need to leave early, our stuff is already packed. Dad has 774 on in the background on warm days and keeps his mobile on to keep track of any alerts on the Vic Emergency app. Today, we saw a blue tongue lizard stretched out on the road, enjoying the sunshine. When I get home from school, I help mum and dad clean up around the house. We rake leaves and small sticks, mow the paddock and test all the pumps. Will and Ellie hose me down so I don't get too hot. It's been really warming up lately, so tonight we watched the news and found out that tomorrow's fire danger rating is extreme and a total fire ban. The air is hot and dry and the paddocks have turned from green to yellow. On an extreme rating, our school relocates closer to the city and safe from bushfires. On the way, we see a wombat keeping cool in its burrow and a kangaroo laying in the shade under a tree. We pass the fire station and the truck is out the front. We wave to Captain Jimmy and he says the wind is hot because it is coming from the north. We also see heaps of birds flying south towards the coast. The leaves are brown and crunchy and they crack underfoot. Will and Ellie say that it was so hot they played inside all day. Mum checks the Vic emergency app to see if there had been any fires nearby during the day. We return home in the late afternoon after checking there are no fires near our town. There are no animals around except a ringtail possum crossing the road heading towards the dam in search for water. The news says tomorrow's fire danger rating is catastrophic and a total fire ban. 
catastrophic days happen once every five to ten years. It is the worst condition for a fire, and if one starts, it would be very difficult to stop. So we decide to leave the night before. We pack the car and drive to our friend's house in the suburbs, where it is safe from bushfire. On the way to our friend's place, the wind is so strong it nearly blows our car off the road. We swim all afternoon in our friend's pool. When the sun goes down, the cool change comes. The wind stops and the temperature drops. So we go back home for the night. It rains on the way home. We watch the weather forecast on the TV and the temperature is going to be 30 degrees tomorrow. I wonder what tomorrow's fire danger rating will be. I know how to find out. Do you?